Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd really appreciate it, and I'd be able to send watches like this to your inbox as soon as tomorrow morning. If you like this watch, you can buy it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Buy, trade, and sell luxury watches on thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing one of the larger and sportier Nomos Glasuta models. This is the Nomos Club Datum Atlantic dial. So, Atlantic blue is the color, and the watch features a date. It's part of the Club series, and thus the nomenclature. The watch is big for a Nomos, 41.5 millimeters across the case, not including the crown. The timepiece is not thick, however, 10 millimeters thick. It's the span of the lugs that really sets this one apart. Rather than short cropped, they have a huge huge arcing presence and a sculptural beauty that's rare in the Nomos catalog. While the watches tend to be petite and the lugs tend to be close cropped, this one is anything but your typical Nomos at 529 millimeters lug to lug. The lug spacing, however, at 20 millimeters does give you a broad range of OEM and aftermarket strap options should you wish to accessorize. Now the timepiece cradles itself on top of the wrist. Because it is so broad, it has to curve a little bit to work with your wrist and meet you halfway. And Nomos knows both design and ergonomics, so you can see the lugs themselves do sharply turn downward, even though they are objectively broad across the wrist for a Nomos. You'll note that the strap is a very handsome navy blue piece to match the Atlantic Blau dial, and it's actually a French-made strap. And while I'm generally a fan of straps, I tend to run screaming from textiles, as they're normally coarse, uncomfortable, and just generally unpleasant. This one is anything but that. It feels like a textile strap that's been woven from silk. It is very supple, thin, soft, and this is exactly the kind of material I could imagine having against my skin for prolonged periods of time on a hot day during periods of intense activity. This is a sports watch, 200 meters water resistant. Even the buckle itself has been thoughtfully appointed as it was designed by Nomos's corporate studio in Berlin. The company may be based out of Glashütte from a corporate and watchmaking standpoint, but their actual design office is in Berlin. And yes, the office had a special assignment to design a buckle for this watch. You can see it's a, a counterweighted clevis style. Handsome, nicely polished, an excellent match for the case, and it even recapitulates in form the arc of the lugs themselves. Now, the case is thin, and it features a domed bezel that is all of a piece with the case. You'll see there is no seam between bezel and case. Rather, there's a case back which is screwed on, and then there's an upper portion which comprises the lugs and the bezel as well as the mid case. All of high polish, it doesn't seem overwrought because it's a relatively modest watch in terms of branding and presentation. Uh, this could be overpowering if the watch were colored gold or Rolex, but from Nomos, this looks appropriate. And I'll even say, that there's a sculptural beauty to these lugs and a sensuous quality to the compound curves of this case that really set it apart from some of the more angular and hard-edged Nomos products. This one feels less Teutonic and perhaps like its strap, a little bit more Gaelic in inspiration. This is a handsome watch. The timepiece features a simple and easy to read dial, of course, the Atlantic Blau base. And I should mention, and give ourselves a bit more light here so we can see it in greater detail, I should mention that there is a granular or pebbly texture to the dial. It's not a simple flat surface. It does have a surfacing effect that when viewed under a loop almost looks like grains of sand. So the dial features printed indices as well as numerals. There will be a loom shot at the end of this video. Countersunk seconds with a gorgeous signal orange seconds hand. There's a date window nicely integrated at six o'clock to balance the dial so it doesn't move off center and upset the symmetry. You'll also note that there is a signal blue Arabic numeral outboard of each of the indices so you can more easily read the minutes of the day. Minimal branding, Nomos Glashuta with its famous umlaut and minimal font. Turn it over. And now we're looking at Nomos Manufacturer Caliber DUW5101. There are two different Nomos Caliber types. There are the DUWs, which feature Nomos's Manufacturer Caliber and Manufacturer Escapement, the swing system. And then there are the Greek letters, for example, Epsilon. Those are Nomos in-house calibers, but they don't feature Nomos's in-house assortment. So the watch features automatic winding, and you can even see the bi-directional 
rocker system that changes the direction of the winding so that though it winds in both directions, the mainspring barrel is only wound in one direction. It has a fun little system, much like an old JLC 889. The same system is used in a hidden capacity on Audemars Piguet 3120s. You'll also note the 42-hour power reserve meted out by the 28,800 vibration per hour balance, and the entirety of it 200 meters water resistant. It is a push down crown, but it's rated at 20 ATM all the same. Now the watch does feature hacking seconds, so you can stop the seconds and you can synchronize the watch precisely to a reference time, but it does not feature a conventional quick set date. Rather, you back the hour hand backwards and forwards through midnight to sort of ratchet and advance the date. It's an older quick set system called a semi quick set. The movement is nicely finished, as you can see, Glashutta stripes, because we are not in Geneva, they're not Geneva waves, and we're not in Switzerland, so we're going to give credit to the home team and use the Glashutta nomenclature. You'll note a double spiral dressage pattern, and this is actually laid down by hand. This is one of the elements of the movement that has been confirmed as handmade and hand finished by Nomos to me, and I take their word for that. The double spiral is their signature. They have one guy who does this all day. The screws themselves are the real deal, not oxidized with chemicals, but rather oxidized with heat in a kiln. These are fired cobalt blue screws, not the chemically dyed kind. Nicely made, handsome in its execution, handsome in its detailing, and entirely in-house in its design and fabrication. This is a well-made 26 jewel movement that is all Nomos' own. And that is remarkable, this being an entirely manufactured product from a company that has only existed since roughly 1994, and which has only in the last decade and a half started offering its own calibers, so still a relatively young manufacturer, and that fits the ethos of the watch, which Nomos describes as unpretentious and young. If that sounds like you or you at heart, this Nomos Club Dottom Atlantic Blau might just be the watch for you. And we're back with the Nomos Club. As you can see, Atlantic Blau by day. Easy to read by night. This is a true sports watch. 200 meter water resistant, automatic winding, and fully loomed. See it with full boxes, papers, and accessories on thewatchbox.com.